<coughs> well, hi everybody and uh, welcome back. It's uh, been a few weeks since we've done a video. Uh, basically, a lot of it's still, still flooded. Uh, we're still looking for ducks down there. And obviously, if you try to work on the ground, it's so wet, you're basically going to be destroying the soil, the soil um, structure. So, I mean, I've been down there, I've built another shed, I've got the rotivators and the um, lawnmowers in there, so that sort of kept me busy for a little while. And uh, I thought I'd show you a little, little one here. It's time to put on the leaks. These are the uh, Pendle Improved. I mean, you must have seen these plant these. Ooh, a couple of months ago now, and obviously they're, they're, they're crying out to get planted on into a, into the next size pot, which is just these really. So I'll, I'll be showing you how to do those in a minute, and also I'm going to show you how to make one of these. This is um, a wasp trap. The wasp actually sort of enters into here, flies around, there's a bit of sugary syrup in the bottom, and obviously it can't come back out, and so it sort of drowns and you're limiting the wasp numbers. I'll show you how to make one of them, it's quite simple really, uh, in a little while. But first of all, what we're going to do, we're going to give our legs a drink. I do like to have a little drink before we try to plant them. Pump the bottle. Very technical here. So that'll be alright. And then we'll water these again afterwards. Alright, so. Nothing very technical here, uh, that'll do. We'll use the knife just to make a little hole. And we'll tease out some of these leaks there. there now that's quite a nice little root system there. Very nice. So we'll just pop that in. We don't, want to, we don't want to plant it too deep, you know. There's another one. Sort of being careful not to crush the stems as well. I'll just do a few of these, just to speed things up a little bit. Right. Look at them beauties, eh? It does help by actually giving them a drink at the soil, they come out of the soil quite easy. And obviously we'll give them another drink just to set them in. Damaged the stem on that one, look at that. Left to have as a reject. Just shows you how easy it is to damage these stems, yeah? It might be alright, you never know. Tangled up with each other to get in that big. I think spring is definitely on the way. The uh, 11 degrees today, so that's fairly warm compared to what it has been, and it hasn't rained for two days. Would you believe it? No rain for two days. Wow, wait. Ah, there. Might still be more on the way. Okay. It's definitely desperate need rain to stop so we can get some proper planting done. I've got the potatoes in the conservatory there. I've had them chitting for weeks. I'll, I'll bring them out and show you later on. 
see how they're doing. I mean, they really need to be potted either into a pot or in the ground, really. This is just ordinary multi-purpose compost, nothing special. <coughs> I mean, now they're transplanted to their own individual pots. They really should be romping away now, shouldn't they? is the best three but better than nothing they might pick up but they're not going to be show winners no. yeah should I plant that one a bit a bit deeper that's what I'll plant them all in the same pot all the duck ones how about that There we go, don't forget the label. Pendle improved. I'll just move them in. Uh, this is ordinary tap water, this is. settle the soil around the roots. I mean, they're going to look a bit sad for a day or two, but they're generally pick up. So we've got one, two, three, four, that's, that's 15, well, apart from that one's a bit naff really. But we'll, we'll see how it goes, we'll keep me informed on what's the old Pendle Improved doing. Obviously got a Yorkshire Giant to do, there's a similar sort of variety. Kelsey Onions, right here, I've loved They're up to about here now, they're spot on. Anyway, so that's them, this is our Pendle Improved. Thanks. I'll just move them out of the way. Move that out of the way because I'm going to plant. Uh, I'm going to plant some cress, ordinary cress. Just a bit of old soil. I think we had mushrooms in this, so I'll just reuse the packaging. And like uh, cress, you can plant any time of the year. So any time of the year, and harvest any time of the year, and uh, what's it say? So thickly on moist kitchen roll or seed compost. So that's got to be moist. That's not bad. I think it only takes a couple of weeks to germinate this. Thousands of them. So just sort of do that on the top. You don't cover them at all. So don't think you cover them. What's it say? So fit your nice Place in a gentle warm environment, about 19 degrees. Uh, harvest as required, just cut when you want it. So we'll do them all.
And there you go. Press, plant it. That's it. Now that's quite straightforward and simple, isn't it? We know it's Chris, because we'll be taking that indoors later. I'm out of water now. Right, now let's make a wash trap. Well, first of all, you need some of these. This is like a one way this bit of plastic, as you can see. Uh, the hole goes right through now. So the wash, they come and land on here. Obviously, there's, there's a sugar syrup or something in this, and they fly in. And the way wash they, they have come, they can't fly out again. So the ones which go in, you know they're going to die. Other, than, other, because some people actually cut the tops off of these, turn it upside down, and the bees, go, or the wasps go in, have a feed, fly off because it's not sealed, and then they sort of, they bring loads of other wasps back, and you're, in, you're increasing the wasps coming to where you are because like they fly back to where they come from. Yeah? So it's no good. This is actually traps them in the bottle. Right. So what you do? You get yourself a bottle and you have to put like a two inch cross in it. Okay. I've got the wife's best kitchen knife, don't be telling her. <laughs> Could do with a sharpen, I think. Oh there we go. And her kitchen scissors. And all you do, make sure it's the right way up, a little landing bar at the bottom, and you just push it into the slot. Wash goes in, wash can't come out. Same on the other side. Actually, I think it is quite sharp, that knife. Just make a little, little cross. Yeah. Obviously, as you push this in, the, uh, the plastic bits catch here and here, and it don't come back out. And there you go. One wash trap, ready to go. So, I quite like that, so I'll build a few of them. Another one? Right. Oh my god. Just as well they're plastic bottles. Make sure the little landing pin is at the bottom. Push it in. There you go. I think it's a brilliant idea myself. The good thing this is, once the wasps go in, they can't come out and tell the others where the food is. So they die. So now we've got four wash traps. Obviously, I've got to just put some sugar water in there and then uh, tie it up around a tree or something like that. This is quite good. Now, there's another type of wasp deterrent, really, rather than a wasp killer, which we've got over there, and that's called well, it's a wasp in eight, actually. It, it mimics a wasp's nest, and the wasps are supposed to stay away. But I don't think they've read that book, I'm not quite sure what that is. Anyway, so that's a wash trap. We've sewn our cress. That'll be ready to eat in a few. Is it about 10 days since then? Yes, there's a couple of weeks at the most. And we've been planted our, our Pendle improved Yorkshire links. So they're looking a bit sad at the moment, but a couple of days and they'll be fine. Well, I think that's about it for now, really. Uh, yeah, I'll show you another couple of wasp traps, different types, on different videos. One where they actually cut the top and bottom off, turn it upside down, and fill it with stuff. And another one's a really clever one. Is you, you have one of these to let the wasp in, and then at the bottom, obviously, some sugar syrup, and you have an entrance. So it can fly out at the top 
put at the top. You put like, say this cap, say, or something similar, upside down and you fill it with wasp poison and it takes the poison back to the nest so it kills the wasps in the nest. As it, as it flies out it gets covered in this, this powder. Now that's a clever idea that is. We'll be building one of them later. Just one of plastic, you know, keep falling off this table. <laughs> well, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.